Growing up, I was always told to avoid speaking absolutes. My parents told me to avoid saying words like always, never, can't, and will. With that being said, Donald Trump will win re-election in 2024. After a rough beginning for the Trump campaign in the primary process, where he was shown to be losing to Ron DeSantis in some polls, that narrative was quickly discarded with Trump retaking the lead and never looking back since. As it stands right now, all of Trump's remaining competition combined would not equal the level of support that he has alone. After Trump wins the primary, he will likely be faced with a rematch against Joe Biden in the general election. Unlike 2020, there are several factors that will lead to his success in this campaign cycle. For starters, Joe Biden's failures were widely visible from both sides of the aisle. While in 2020, people on the left were able to point to a successful career in Congress, along with time serving the Obama administration, this time around they have to look to Biden's time as president. During this time, Biden was able to boast one of the weakest southern borders in recent history. He's able to showcase record high illegal immigration, record high inflation, and Biden now exposed a 17% increase in overall prices, a 20% increase in food cost, a 20% increase in rent cost, and above all else, a 25% increase in electricity cost. If that isn't enough, on our Joe Biden's tenure, we saw a total of two large-scale wars break out, one in the Ukraine, and another with their close ally, Israel. This is a stark contrast to Donald Trump's tenure, where no new wars were started. Furthermore, Joe Biden's weak America has left the billions of dollars being sent overseas to deal with the Ukrainian conflict. And with no one in sight, it appears as if he will bleed the taxpayers dry before he ends the money supply. With that being said, the American people are feeling the effects of Joe Biden's presidency, which is being shown big time through polling numbers. With several polls already taken, almost all of them showcase Donald Trump either ahead of Biden or tied with him. While the time the polls may sound concerned to some Republicans, you also have to remember how the polls look heading into the 2016 election where Trump outplayed the polling numbers, whereas Hillary never got close to numbers that she polled in. Likewise, back in 2020, Biden had a very similar outlook, which was the Biden too underperforming, while Donald Trump yet again outperformed his opposition. As such, while time may look bad to some Republicans, the fact still remains that we often do better than polls suggest, whereas the left always does worse than expected. As such, a time the polls hints towards a Trump win. On the same note, Biden's approval ratings are looking far worse than Trump's ever looked. As of right now, Joe Biden's approval ratings fall somewhere between 33 and 39 percent. For a retrospect, Donald Trump was polling from 40 to 45 percent at this time in his tenure, which shows at this point in time, even Joe Biden's own party is against him. And due to his poor performance and a series of factors pointing to Trump being ahead, I feel extremely confident in saying that Trump will win in 2024.